but we've only just recently understood how they do it. Like us humans, bees have a virtual map stored in their brains. They can store landmarks such as streams, houses, flowering meadows, paths, and their position in relation to the hive. In flight, they can navigate home perfectly from a new location within their habitat. It's an amazing achievement for a brain just the size of a tiny grain of rice. Still, that brain has one million neural connections. In comparison, there are 86 billion nerve cells in the human brain. They process and store images, shapes, language, and experiences, among other things. A close relative, the bumblebee, has a similarly tiny brain, but their intelligence isn't just about the number of neurons. Many insects have a ladder-like ventral nervous cord distributed over their entire body. The different segments, or ganglia, are used to process sensory information and control motor activities. In the head, several ganglia fuse together to form the brain. Neuron stimulation begins in the antennae, which are also receptors of smell, taste, hearing, and touch. 60,000 tiny pores on the antennae absorb scent. 